Hi everybody, it's your girl Tay back again with four great ways to style a curly pineapple as well as some goodies including my very good friend and singer-songwriter Amelia Rivera. It's her lovely voice as well as her band Cafe Society you will hear in the background of this tutorial and we hope you enjoy. So for those of you who may not know, a pineapple just means that for curly hair you pile it up on the top of your head and secure it, letting the ends hang free so they don't get damaged and they can stay curly and beautiful. Uh, so just do a pineapple however you prefer. I prefer a claw clip as you probably know by watching my other tutorials. However, if you like to use a scrunchie, go ahead and do so. I always recommend using, if you use a scrunchie, using a silk or satin scrunchie. And you of course will need a headscarf for this look. So go ahead and wrap it around your head. Now a headscarf is different than a regular scarf. It's thinner uh, in height, but it's longer in length. So it will cover a little bit less of your head. But if you don't have one, you'll see in a little bit that um, my good friend Amelia, she will use a regular scarf, but just fold it so that it's a little bit thinner and easier to manage. And I go ahead and um, knot it around my head and that should pretty much complete the look. All right, so for this look, we're going to go ahead and make another pineapple. However, this time we're going to leave out some bangs. And I don't naturally have bangs, so I always have to grab some from the front of my head and kind of make maneuver it, make it look right. And then I go ahead and style my hair into a pineapple using that same clip again. Once that's up, I grab my headscarf again and wrap it over the pineapple um, and just letting my whatever ends of the pineapple hang out and whatever bangs hang out and just let them do their thing and tie it around my head on top. And I also at the end secure a couple pieces that fall at the back, on the back side of my head and uh, just secure them with a bobby pin uh, if, the, if you have that problem. And that completes the look. Another very important step is to pat your hairdo half a dozen or so times to make sure it's in place. So to create the mop top look, I just use a regular scrunchie and pull my hair through one time. Like I don't twist the scrunchie at all and pull it through again. It's one time and it's just like a giant donut or something and all of the hair just falls kind of perfectly into place and that is my favorite uh, mop top look. So as you may have noticed in the intro of the video, I actually have five photos instead of four, and that's because I recorded this one, thought I wasn't going to use it, and then added it back in last minute. So basically it's the same look as the mop top, I just added the headscarf, uh, kind of twisted up a little bit thinner, and tied it around my head. I let the ends hang behind my head. So this last look is a little bit I Dream of Genie inspired just because it's a super high ponytail and that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm using that silk scrunchie again and on the very top of the crown of my head I make a high ponytail and then I wrap that headscarf around the ponytail holder once my hair is secured and I let the pineapple fall forward towards my face instead of behind me like a regular ponytail and that will complete the look. Jump 
Thanks for watching, everybody, and thank you, Amelia, for lending us your beautiful vocal talent. If you'd like to know more about Amelia and the band Cafe Society, there will be links in the description box below.